So I'm sure we've all been there. You're traveling down the interstate, you see something that, you know, like looks really, really neat or something like a news thing that's going on and you have no idea what it is. Well, how do you find out about that? I guess we'll talk a little bit more about that coming up. Right after this. I'm Jim. Welcome to It's a Highway Vlog, where you get to travel the country with us, and you don't even have to leave your newspaper at the house. Because you really want to take it with you, even though you can't get any of the local news. Yeah, what's up with that? So anyway, while you're trying to read that paper, don't forget to like our channel, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. So you don't miss anything. Even the hot news. Hey, good Friday evening. I got it right, didn't I? Friday, yes, Friday yep. evening. That's because we're not working anymore. <laughs> nope, we had a busy week. We ended up doing our four loads for the week, which we're very, very thankful for that. A big change from the week before when we only did one load. Mm -hmm. And so we actually met our financial goals for the week. And uh, we ended up this morning early outside of Columbus, Ohio, like real early in the morning. <laughs> Like very early in the morning. One o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and then we had to take the truck into Thermal King. And it turns out uh, we had a dead battery uh, for the uh, reefer unit where it was yeah. going dead. It was going to die soon. Uh, we had issues the other day when we went to start the reefer. It, it basically threw up error codes and said low voltage. And the truck, I think it took like three times to start, which yeah. it never does. It usually fires right up. Yeah, but it uh, did. And we were fine until, yeah. you know, we were still fine when we got to them. It was just, yeah, just so. a little bit of a, when you see those alarms go off, you need to get it in. <laughs> yeah, and uh, and they took us right in this morning. We, we They opened at 8 o'clock, and we were there a little before 8, and by 8.30 we were in the shop. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess by 10 o'clock we were almost out to 10.30, I think, is we were finished. We were yep, done. and we were here at the Thermal King in Columbus. Um, yep, Thermal King, Columbus, up in Hilliard, Ohio. Oh, thank you. Yes. What, wherever we were. Yes. Well, that's where we were at. And we were All I know is we went around 270 and went somewhere. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, and we used to live here for three years, so. But Hilliard wasn't this big. No, it was not. <laughs> when we lived here. It was farm country when we lived down here. farm place uh, 30 years ago. Yeah, 30 years ago, about. Wow. <laughs> that was a long time ago. But uh, we got that taken care of, and so we're happy about that cost a little bit of money but you know we got a new battery that's the yeah. second battery we've had to we've replaced that battery twice now and he did something with some wires that were corroded and yeah. you know that kind of stuff and that battery sets right out in a little small battery box right on the side of the frame and it's exposed really badly to the elements out there and uh it corroded up and so they fixed that and then we decided in the meantime we got a load but not for tuesday not for Tuesday? Well, it is not until Tuesday. <laughs> so we don't have a load for Monday, but we yeah. do have a load for Tuesday. Not for lack of trying for Monday. <laughs> been trying, and maybe we'll try to fill in the load. So anyway, uh, we decided we would come down here and grab some badly needed showers. And so we did that. We are actually setting. It's going the, to the point where we are very, the people were very fortunate we were six feet away from each other. Because yeah. <laughs> any closer like, would not have been like, fun for anyone. They might have been able to tell that we hadn't had a shower for a while. But, uh, <laughs> Depending on which way the wind was blowing. Yeah. So we are setting at the TA in, where, where are we at? Washington Courthouse? I forget yeah. what the, uh, Jeffersonville. Jeffersonville. Yeah. Jeffersonville, Ohio. <laughs> Ooh, I -O. I -O. Um, so we are here we don't know if we're going to stay here for the weekend our load for Tuesday picks up in Kentucky so we may or may not one of those if we fill in there might be something up here that goes down there so we're just kind of hanging out and we, seeing what we happens we know what would happen we would drive all the way to Kentucky and then there would so be a load in Columbus up, yeah, going back <laughs> and so we just decided we'd stay here we may not stay here all weekend but we might. Uh, we have really good internet service here, so we're going to do our live yeah. broadcast last tomorrow. And you know, night. the so sad part is that we're in our home state, and we have friends who live who live around here, and driver friends, and college friends, and high school friends, and you know, I mean, just because it's it's a city, right? <laughs> but we don't want to do that. We want to, you know, keep safe so distance from everybody. So yeah. we'll just say hi from here, everybody. Yes, and stay in the truck all weekend. 
Yeah. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> uh, you gonna spend it with me? I don't know how else it would be wouldn't be fun. Help me. Uh, <laughs> you better say that louder. I don't know if they heard you. <laughs> no, no, we are we are very fine. Uh, we have the truck stocked up and everything. Again. Um, last night, uh, yesterday afternoon, we picked up in Tennessee and delivered very very early this morning. We actually had two deliveries this morning up here in Ohio. Yep, one was actually late last night, and the other yes. one was early morning. <laughs> so we got all those off, and surprisingly, the first customer we got off early, and the second customer we actually still got everything off the truck early. Yeah, we, we were an hour before hour before our delivery yeah. appointment time. We were at, we were early on awesome. the whole load. We picked up like three hours early. Because uh, like we said yesterday, we picked up in the same place we delivered, so we had no deadhead. We're just sort of hanging out in the parking lot uh, and everything. But last night, we saw something in, in, on the way back up here and um, down in Kentucky, and it sort of got us to thinking about stuff. And it's something that we've noticed over the years, but... Kind of started out with the Walmart thing last night. <laughs> yeah, but... Um, as we were driving along, uh, there is a Loves on Interstate 60, or 71, about halfway between Cincinnati and Louisville. It's a little bit closer to Cincinnati. And we noticed out in front of us on the bridge that goes across the interstate, there looked like there was emergency vehicles. Uh, the first one was a big fire truck. Yeah, it was a fire truck, and it had its bucket up. Yeah. And there was like a, a utility wire that was kind of going across the bridge. And I was talking to Jim. I'm like, why are they they out there and not the utility people right trying you know thinking you know so we what's did, going on because there was a fire truck and then there was the um emt yeah people ambulance, kind of behind them yeah, i so think we we thought maybe a wreck you know maybe a fire or something we didn't know what was going on and as we drove up you know they're sitting across the bridge over on the southbound side and we're headed northbound and as we drive past i look out the window and of course judy's driving so she didn't see it but there's this huge, giant American flag hanging off the bridge. Yeah, I did see it in the rear of your mail and we got so far up. But. So apparently the fire department was there and had hung a giant flag out over you know, the interstate. We didn't really know what was going on with that. Well, as we drove north, like the next three bridges, and that's sort of a very rural area right through there. There's no really big towns or anything, um, just out in the middle of nowhere. And as we drove past the next three bridges, uh, I know one of them had like three emergency vehicles. Yeah, there was vehicles. even more vehicles on that one so bridge in between. There was more out there, and, and again, they had flags hanging over the side, and the well, lights are going. I don't know if the flags were over the side on the there other was one, two. There was one more flag. Was I saw. there? Yeah. I didn't see it. And so I know the first one, I was kind of concerned because it was hanging so yeah. low. I thought maybe it was going to hit the trucks, you know, low, make it a low bridge kind right. of thing. But, but it uh, was a huge flag. Very too. huge. So the thing is. We have no idea what was going Before on. Before we started the video, I, we were trying to look for, to see, you know, look in that area to see if there's any news or any, you know, just on the Google search to find out what was maybe going on. Well, and, 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 I, and we still don't know. I mean, we, we have, you know, maybe it was a, uh, maybe there was a firefighter that was killed and maybe, you know, there was a procession coming through. We thought also... You Although know, we didn't see anything. We didn't see I anything. I don't think anything. Um, we, we thought uh, possibly, you know, troops coming home. Uh, you know, there's some army bases in that area. Um, maybe we thought, you know, they were coming back home. Uh, we don't know. And uh, we still don't know. <laughs> so if you, if anybody knows, yeah, let us please know. Please comment. Please comment. But the, the thing I guess we were thinking about is we see this all the time. We'll see a really bad accident. Or we'll just see, you know, like uh, just something happening off the interstates or as you drive through towns, you know, like something out of the ordinary. And we never, you know, you it's like you set in line for like four hours, stop traffic, and you you know there is something happened. You don't know what's happened. And then the traffic clears and you're, you're moving along. And by the time you get to where was anything, whatever was happening, it's all cleared up. It's gone. So you have no idea what was going on. Yeah. We've had um, times where that we found out later that we, the traffic was held up for a certain period of time and we didn't know it, but like the president or somebody yeah. and or the governor mm -hmm. or somebody in that area was being, you know, uh, stop traffic. Because yeah. They stopped traffic so that they could go through, so, you know, so that they were protected. You know, and like, we well, didn't know it until we read something. We have seen some other uh, 
over the course of the last few years, you know, you've seen, like, I know there was one time where we noticed there was, there were police cars at every exit, uh, or there were police cars, you know, for a fallen, you know, officer or something, a tribute, you know, like that was going on. But we never know the details. Or and sometimes we just assume that's what's going on and maybe we don't know. Maybe yeah. there's, you know, we, we often or we've, we've seen where there's been patrol cars like at every exit, you know, with their lights on and, and flashing right. and and the first thing we think of, is, okay, are, is there a drug bust? You know, are they trying to capture somebody going down the highway and this right. is their, oh, we're going to pull right out in front of them right at the time. It's, or a processional for a funeral. You know, or... When we were home, um, you know, we normally watch uh, television stations out of Toledo, Ohio. I mean, because we were closer to Toledo, the first, the biggest major city near us, we were closer to them than we were Toledo. And so we watched, or Columbus, we watched the Toledo news. And so anything like that that would have happened, it would have been on the local news. Well, we don't have local news <laughs> in the truck. So we rely yeah. on the internet. And a lot of times it's, it's a little difficult to try to find something. And a lot of times there isn't a story about that uh, where there might have been something on the news last night but we just don't know so we're sort of we're just left out of the loop <laughs> feel left out you know, and we don't get our news at home we don't get no. our news when we're out here you know it's, well we get our news from facebook <laughs> right and and we all know that's 100 percent correct uh so but it's you know we do feel a little bit left out of the loop sometimes even with uh you know you, you would just sort of like to know it's not really being nosy but you just sort of you know well that's interesting i wonder what happened and uh which also leads it to you know jim thinks i he wants to know but <laughs> the creative people in us is also you can make up all kinds of scenarios about what has happened and what was going on i mean you just you could just think about anything and everything about what what possible types of outcomes could come out with something just like with last night at walmart you know <laughs> it's just like oh you know the hand sanitizer or you know am i right. leaving something or you know it's just all these are or where did that guy come from and where's the other guy sitting you know it, it, it's just it's all these little stories that you can make up and we're just um, out of the loop and we have no idea if any of them are true but we can come up with all kinds of scenarios yeah because that could have had a very simple explanation which we'll never know. So we'll it's never just, know. I know, it's just one of those things. It bugs me a little bit. I like to know <laughs> what's going on. Yeah, Mr. Know-it-all needs to know it all. <laughs> yeah, I do. I feel compelled. And, and then uh, when you can't find out the information, I don't know. <laughs> don't, I don't ask. Know. Don't know. Uh, we're just making stuff up in our head. Yep. So. Yeah. Which is all right. Yeah. Um, well, that's another example here. I think three weekends ago, we were home. But we stayed in the truck stop and for the weekend and that night we hear sirens going off and I look out the window. I was back doing yoga when yeah, this happened. There's a fire truck like out in front of our truck uh, and there there was a trailer fire. The back end, the rear tandems on the trailer had caught fire and they're out there spraying it down and everything and I'm, you know, I, I got out and looked a little bit, didn't really want to get around too much, you know. But it's just like things like that. Like someone driving past on the interstate would have looked over and saw that trailer going up in flames and go, you know, wow, I wonder what that is. And, you know, then they wouldn't have found it. Yeah, that, so. well, then the question comes, even if you know what's going on or you know that there's a fire, then the next question is, well, I wonder when he noticed it or how far down the road or right. did it just happen when he was sitting here or, you know, I mean, because obviously around Upper Sandusky, yes. there are no hills that would, you know. No you know have somebody's and, brakes go on fire or whatever and so you know <laughs> someone needs to start a national inquiry for truckers <laughs> that's what we need uh because inquiring minds want to know yep and uh we could call it inquiring truckers want to know or yeah nosy truck drivers <laughs> nosy truckers <laughs> so you know that's it's just one of those things that uh you know it, that we sort of miss at times you know we used to watch the news when we were home we knew what was going on in town and everything and we don't do that anymore because we're or they old someplace else. picked up a newspaper and actually read the newspaper i honestly do not believe that i have read a newspaper since i've been out here yeah uh, and they don't i mean it's not like in the truck stops like at home actually i don't even know if they still do this or not but they used to sell paper the newspapers like at walmart I think or they at, still do. at newsstands and things like that where you could pick it up Dependent. but like i you know it'd be 
would have been, and it probably back in the day, they probably did have newspapers in the truck stops where the truck drivers could just, you know, whatever local news was going on, at least maybe it wasn't their news, but they could pick it up and see what the world news was and what, you know, national news and stuff was. Right. But, um, and pick up whatever local one was out there. But it just, it's like we've got all this information on our phones, and sometimes I just want just this much. It's just a lot of times just trying to figure out. You know, number one, is there a local news? And would that, like last night, we're halfway between Kentucky and Cincinnati, so would there have been anything on the, on the, you know, we're, we're too, maybe we're too far out. There is no news coverage, per se, yeah. uh, because, you know, we're, we're quite a ways south of Cincinnati. Yeah, we didn't see any of, news people hanging nope. around. It didn't, like, you know, there was no big CBS or ABC or, you know, any of those or right. whatever covering. <laughs> it didn't look like they had any cameras out, but, of course, we were, we were down here and they were up there, so. Right. Right. So, so that's <laughs> that's our topic for the day. Yeah, we're stretching, aren't we? Uh, <laughs> we are going live tomorrow night. Yeah, we'll do our live tomorrow night. We might do a Facebook live again. I don't know. Uh, we have some family live time in the morning. Yes, that we yes. have to figure out. We got the, some birthdays going a on tomorrow. Zoom meeting tomorrow that we're going to try to do with our family first thing in the morning, early ish. Yep. When? Eleven o'clock. Eleven o'clock. Okay. Morning. Yep. So. We'll let you know how that went. And That's the so we can grab tomorrow. a couple family members who actually are still working. Right. And uh, and they work in the afternoon. So we're hoping yep. we can get at least those guys on too. So I guess that's all we got for this evening. We're uh, tucked in for the night. Going to stay put for one, two, or three days. Whatever Stay happens. tuned. We might attempt some mask making this weekend too. I haven't decided yet. Trying to figure out if who we is, could. Who is this we we speak that's, of? That's somebody with a needle and thread yeah, or know. you know i don't know we'll, we'll figure see. it out i went on the cdc website to see if i could figure out how to you know make the mask so we'll probably figure that out sometime so yeah, sometime. we'll let you know if not because that material is going to ravel like yeah. crazy in the washer and dryer every time we throw it in there so. so well all right take care everybody and we'll see you all in the next video so long everybody good night <laughs>